Rashid wants to get a pasture for his animals to graze on. He has a large expanse of land but doesn't have enough forage crops on the land for his animals. What do you think Rashid can do seeing as he does not have natural pasture? There are two types of pasture. In our previous lesson, we defined pasture as a, piece of, as a piece of land where forage crops grow and forage crops as plants cultivated whose vegetative parts are fed on by livestock. The two types of pasture we have are natural and artificial pasture. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at each of these types as well as the advantages of each. Natural pasture, also called natural grassland or rangeland, is a piece of land on which grasses or legumes grow naturally on their own and are fed upon by animals. Rashid's land does not have this and as a result it would have to go for an artificial pasture. An artificial pasture, also called an established or sown pasture, is a piece of land where grasses or legumes are cultivated and managed by man to be fed by, by livestock. Natural pasture has poor quality grasses or legumes. It also contains soil types that are low in fertility or nutrients. Natural pasture also contains a wide variety of grasses and legumes, some of which will not be consumed by livestock. In addition, natural pasture has a good regenerative ability and can withstand trampling. Artificial, pa artificial pasture, on the other hand, contains high quality grasses and legumes. It contains no weeds, also has a high regenerative ability and can withstand trampling by farm animals. Now we know that Rashid does not have to give up on his dreams of establishing a pasture simply because he has no natural pasture. He can simply establish one and in subsequent lesson we'll be looking at how to establish a pasture. See you then.